everybody, and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the high pressure rainfall system from Reptizoo. I'm gonna teach you how to use it, and I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. So one thing you're gonna do, notice when right out of the box, is this is 10 liters, that's a lot. It's gonna have a top, which is pretty heavy to be honest. It's gonna come with five meters of black pipe for the water. It's gonna come with an extra 12 inch little black water pipe and a little copper filter. And to cut the little black pipe, it comes with a little pipe cutting kit, which is really great to have if you don't you know, have anything to cut it with. Probably could use scissors or something like that. Comes with a little end cap so that we can block off the water. And it comes with four sprays and nozzle components. They have suction cups, but I'm gonna go ahead and mount mine a little differently and I'll show you how I'll do that. So starting off, get the small black pipe that it came with. It is around 14 inches long. It says drop it down to 25 or 35 centimeters. I Basically that is around like 12, 10 to 12 inches around there. I chopped mine around 11 inches and that was pretty good. This is a chance you get to use the pipe cutters it came with. You could put the pipe right in there just like this. Be careful not to put your fingers around the blade and then press down and bam, it's done. Super easy and not hard at all. So now that the pipe is cut down to size, we can go ahead and use the copper fitting and insert it into the small pipe. All you do is have to kind of like twist it and push the little copper fitting inside of the black pipe. Once the copper fitting is inserted all the way into the black pipe, now we can install the pipe into the top of the Reptisu Mister. All you need to do is just turn it over and you see this little blue pipe fitting right there? You're just gonna go ahead and press it in. You'll know when it's inserted fully because you won't be able to push it in anymore and bam, you're done. If you want to take it out, it's very simple as well. You see the little blue piece around the black pipe? All you do is you just grab it and press it down into towards the mister itself. And when you do that, the black pipe will just pull right out. And then once that's done, go ahead and put the top of the mister on the little 10 liter water container. And look at that. Now all we do is have to install the pipe in the misters. So now one of my cages is a custom built chameleon cage. And like I said, I'm gonna install it just a little bit differently. I'm not gonna use the nice suction cups it comes with. I'm gonna use some zip ties. I put the nozzles exactly where I wanted them in the cage and I put the zip ties through the top of the screen, wrapped them around the nozzle, secured them in a place, very simple, very easy. And this is what it looks like done. Now I did install two of these nozzles in the chameleon enclosure and I already installed the black pipe. It's very simple, just like the last bit. All you do is just push the black pipe in the nozzle and once it stops, it's secured. I also installed the stopper at the end of the water line here in my chameleon cage because that's where the sprinkler system is gonna end for me. Same as the pipe, you just push it in until it stops and once it stops, you're golden. And this is how I set mine up. As you can tell, the black pipe's leading from one nozzle to the next. And then that pipe is gonna lead to the top of the chameleon enclosure like so. And then we're just gonna follow that down all the way to my crested gecko's enclosure right there. And then if you look, it leads all the way to the rainfall system itself. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and fill this rainfall system up with water. This is very easy to do and an awesome feature. I absolutely love it. You can just pour the water directly into the top. You don't have to take the lid off, carry the container to your faucet. You can just get a cup of water and just pour it in like this. And to show you how big this is, this is me putting a gallon of water in the system. As you can tell, it barely even filled it up. Now that everything is ready and set up to go, all we're gonna have to do is just plug up the power supply. This is it right here. We're just gonna put it in the back of the rainfall system. This is where it's located and just plug it in. The three dials are cycle, duration, and minimum and maximum. The minimum and maximum, all it does is the strength of the mist. I have mine kind of high, and on the duration, that's how long the mist lasts. It can last eight seconds, 12 seconds, 16 seconds, 120 seconds. And the cycle is how many times it's gonna spray in an hour period. So if you have it on one every hour, it's gonna spray. If you have it on eight, it's gonna spray every eight hours. If you have it on 24, it's only gonna spray once a day. And to set the time of it, it is like an hour after you turn it on. So go ahead and like, if you wanna do it at eight, turn it on at seven, and that's how you'll do it. So, and this is the on button. It's very huge, very simple to use. It can be confusing, but I hope I helped in describing how to use it. Now, we didn't talk about zero. What happens when we put it on zero? Well, the rainfall system is gonna work non-stop. Zero on the cycle means it's on 24 seven. And I'm gonna turn on zero just to show you what it looks like. And when I did, as you can tell, it's working flawlessly. And it was pumping water out as a mister. I'd actually turn my little um, minimum, maximum down some, but I absolutely love this. It was coming out very good everywhere. It works flawlessly. You're also probably wondering how loud is it gonna be? So here's some footage to show you how loud it's gonna be. It is from my iPhone 14.
As you can tell, it does have some noise. It's not very loud at all, to be honest with you. The loudest part of it is literally just the mist going off. But other than that, I absolutely love this thing. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to set up. I did have to buy some extra black pipe, but it's just because I have such a huge room and it's going across tons of enclosures now. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I hope I helped with the rainfall system. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.